Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933 here, and in today's CCNA 3-minute tutorial, we're going to take a look at the different passwords that can be set on a Cisco router. We're not actually going to be setting them in this particular tutorial, and this is actually a little more like the real world, because you're not going to go into a client site on a daily basis, or your own site on a daily basis, and change the password. So while we have to know how to set them, we also have to know where to find them in a configuration, and also which password to enter for which specific purpose. Let me run show config here and just remind you that when you have an enable secret set and an enable password set, they're going to appear near the top of your configuration and your line passwords are always going to appear near the bottom. So we have a console password set and a VTY line password set, but nothing on the auxiliary port. And what I've done is put those on the whiteboard here as well for a quick comparison. If someone is telnetting into this router, which password do they need to know? They need to know the password Walter because that's on your VTY lines and that's your telnet connections. Please watch my other YouTube telnet videos and I'll have a three minute tutorial as well because while this will allow a login, it might not allow the user to do everything you want them to do. If they're or we are connecting directly via the console port, it's going to be this particular password right here, CCIE in uppercase. And that again is the console port. We're going to use that for a direct connection. So those two are pretty straightforward. But what about this enable secret and enable password? And is this actually the password itself that I entered? Let's bring the live equipment back up and take a look again. I'll run show config. So even though I like to type and I like to set secure passwords, I probably actually didn't enter that string for the enable secret password. And I've got an enable password anyway, so when I go out and then try to come back in and I'm asked for an enable password, what should I enter? And I'll bring that board up real quick here one more time. What should I enter here? Or do I even know what to enter? Well, let's take a look. Let's try CCNA first in uppercase. And you'll notice two things. First off, it didn't work because I got prompted for a password again. But secondly, the password itself did not appear. That is the default on Cisco routers and switches, so don't be surprised at that. But now I will put in the actual password, which you did not see me set, and it was CCNP in uppercase, and that worked. But what we see on the router itself is this. And this is the result of the hash process or the algorithm running against the letter CCNP. The enable secret password is the only one that's going to be encrypted by default in your configuration. And you're probably familiar with how to encrypt those passwords, but if not, make sure to watch the very next three minute tutorial and I'll show you exactly how to do that. But again, this is key. Don't try to enter dollar sign one, dollar sign BB or whatever string you have here. And don't try, you know, the cut and paste deal because, and this is just an extra word of warning, real world more than exam. See what I did here when I tried to copy and paste this password? thinking this was it, which we know it's not. See that extra space I got there? That's a null space. And even if it's a short little password like this, don't, don't copy and paste passwords because it's going to cause you more trouble than it's worth. Because when you right click on that and copy it, what you did is you copied a couple of null spaces. So when you paste it in to the router or anywhere else, those null spaces are going to be, going to be there and it's going to mess up your login. So just a little extra added real world information for you there. But again, watch this enable secret versus enable password. The enable secret always takes precedence over the enable password, but you've got to know what the enable secret password is. You cannot look at the configuration because if you enter what you actually see on the screen or co copy and paste it, uh, it's not going to work. So watch for that next couple of three minute tutorials. We'll do some more password work. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933.